Welcome to Lifestyles of the Strange and Exotic Outfit of the Day. Now, I'm not going anywhere special. It's more of a work day, so I'm, you know, this is more of a casual thing. And this is the first time I've worn these particular things. This was part of a Goodwill haul, this little dress here. Uh, I don't know if I pay full price or a buck or something. It's a little sleeveless black cotton you know, one of those stretchy dresses, but not a stretchy dress where it like shows every single bulge, just one or two. <laughs> and this vest was actually another dress. And it had like um, a plaid denim bottom to it where it went from here down. And I think it buttoned all the way down too, actually. And I think that's some material I had used in... If you look in my Etsy shop, one of the bags. So the bottom of this became multiple bags, actually. And I thought, eh, this is kind of cute. So I kept that. And, you know, denim is just too damn boring. So last night, I added that. A little bat on the back. I might fill it in. I might not. I don't know. Does it even show up? I don't know. Think I should fill it in? Comment below. If not, I'll probably just leave it as it is. Because my hair will be over it anyways, most of the time, anyway. Uh, I just added this belt that I have floating around. I mean, I kind of like it a little higher up, so I'll probably go a little... You know, notch it in a couple more. Otherwise, down here, it's like bulged. And... As far as... I can't figure out how to do this here. And as far as bling is concerned, I made this last night as well from some beads that my mother's friend gave her to gave to me. And these beads actually are like really dark blue, but there's like sparklies in them. I personally don't like this stretchy thing because I don't know if it's a good uh, <laughs> good quality, if it'll break easily, but that's all I had on hand, so. And as far as other bling, my usual. My usual bracelets. First one was my grandmother's. Can't cut, has a matching necklace to it, and then she lost to the earrings. So there's that. The second one in is just something I got from Michael's that didn't exactly have a plan, but I had a coupon. And that little charm came from the pilo beads that my necklace is made out of. My hieroglyph bracelet, which I got at a previous Broomfield flea market and haggled them down to like half price. <laughs> Sterling silver and cartouches. I never dreamed I'd actually find one because I've always envied my friend Marion who had one made out of gold that she actually got in Egypt. <laughs> so at least now I have that. And the last one is just something I picked up at Walmart for like three bucks actually. It's sterling silver and there's like, you know, invisible diamonds and all that. But I'm like insanely allergic to most jewelry, so <laughs> these are the ones that I'm not allergic to, so I wear them all the time. And just my wraparound Kmart bracelet that I can use as a necklace. You might have seen that as a necklace before. In my dollar store watch, because I wanted something a little, a little thinner for the summer. Then I just have my 10 million earrings. Rarely come off my person, really. Mostly never. My watch it eye and my little spider. Now when I wear normal earrings, I now just clip them with um, loverback earrings onto my first ear here. Because I just have stinking, you know, very thin ears and even light earrings are like, Nying. this doesn't seem to... Yeah, you know, if I do it that way, they don't send bow as much. So now I can wear bigger earrings. Oh yeah. And again, I'm wearing leggings, and these leggings came from a tax sale. And they have that on them, and they fit comfy too. Sometimes leggings like to go in like weird directions. They can't decide whether they want to go up or down. So I have that. And since I'll be standing most of the time today, I just put on my. Very expensive Osiris sneakers I got for nothing. 
And the weird thing is, they're black and pink. <laughs> you know, how often do you find something you actually like? Because some of them I've seen are like, why are you wearing those? I like them because it said Osiris. I didn't know anything about the brand or anything like that, because Osiris is the Egyptian god of the underworld. So that's my casual planning on doing some work day outfit. Uh, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.